Former President Donald Trump rallying before a huge crowd in St. Cloud, Minnesota, two weeks to the day after being shot by a would-be assassin's bullet. Joining me now to react is Ned Ryan, CEO of American Majority, and Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney. Uh, great to see you guys. Um, Ned, you know, we're looking at the Thanks, polls Charlie. right now. It looks like things are yep. kind of bunched up. Um, we, we, yes. We're it's seeing somewhat of a, a honeymoon with Kamala Harris. Um, but it's kind of hard to imagine that that's going to, sort of. to, to exactly, is going to stick for very long. No, I, I agree, Charlie. I mean, people are talking about this Kamala momentum, but Decision Desk and The Hill came out with a poll this afternoon comparing pre and post when Biden was the nominee and when Harris was the nominee. Absolutely no change at the national level. Five of the eight battleground states, absolutely no change. And in the three states where there was change, uh, I think Kamala gained a point on Trump in Arizona to still be down by six, a point in Pennsylvania to still be down by three, and I think two points in Georgia to still be down by five. So whatever this talk is of momentum, I'm not seeing a ton. The interesting uh, poll that came out recently was the Wall Street Journal one, Charlie, and I thought the most amazing part about that was Trump's approval rating was at 51 percent in that most recent Wall Street Journal poll. He has never before ever, while in the White House, post White House, ever broken 50 percent. And right now he's at 51 percent. So all this talk of polls uh, favoring Kamala, I think, is, is a bit overblown. And of course, we're going to uh, be watching the greatest rewrite uh, in history of any political uh, candidate. Um, <laughs> Uh, 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 Leo, uh, could you, uh, we have a clip here from this rally. Uh, take a li listen to this and uh, I want to ask you something about it. So now we have a new candidate to defeat the most incompetent, unpopular, and far left vice president in American history, probably the most far left person in American history. Less than four months from now, Minnesota is going to defeat Kamala Harris. She's defund the police, and I'm overfund the police. We're going to overfund. So obviously, uh, the president is trying to get his sea legs uh, in terms of attacking Kamala Harris. Do you think this is effective right here? Absolutely. And let me be very clear. Uh, you were talking about the honeymoon. The honeymoon is over for Kamala. That was basically organized by left wing media. Look, two hits on by President Trump on Kamala. Defunding the police and illegal immigration. And I'm telling you, uh, Charlie, before she became a senator, she was a disaster, a radical in California. The national media needs to vet her record as a district attorney, where she let she did not demand the death penalty for a cop killer. When the American public hears the truth about Kamala Harris, she's going to lose in a landslide. And her and her her way to pivot by playing the race card, Americans are not going to vote for her based on skin color on policy issue she is too extreme for this nation you know ned it, it is kind of interesting you know she has held it like every single side of every single issue uh but we have the <laughs> tape for all of it and it's going to come back to haunt her C correct and and i would agree they need to continue prosecuting the case against her that she is a neo-marxist uh she is the most radical candidate that we've ever seen and she has gone out of her way charlie the moment she declared she was running for the White House in January of 2019 on almost every policy issue, she staked out the farthest left you could be on those issues, uh, whether it was the Green New Deal or, or immigration or any, any issue you would pick, she was the furthest left of any of those candidates in that primary. So I think Trump's got to continue to pro uh, prosecute the case that she's a neo-Marxist, while at the same time, Charlie, not taking anything for granted and getting that ballot collection machine ramped up in those eight key states. So, uh, Leah, do you think that this effort, uh, they're going to be able to close that gap in the next, uh, you know, 100 days? Uh, let me think about that. Absolutely not. Look, the, honestly, I don't want to get too over optimistic, yeah. but Kamala Harris cannot win this election because she is extreme, unlikable. And again, the race card is not going to play. It is yeah. policy and she's wrong on every issue. And California is a terrific uh, resume for people to look at if they want to see what uh, Kamala uh, Harris's policies and, quite frankly, the entire Democrat pol uh, Party's policies uh, are right. get you.
Uh, that does it for us tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.